welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. If you're a Cricut beginner, this is the video for you. Today, we're gonna to be demonstrating how to download fonts on a desktop or a laptop. This is gonna be a super easy process for you with a little PSA that it might look a little bit different if you're not using a Mac like I am, but the functionality should still be relatively the same. I hope that you do enjoy this great educational video. I have to mention, if you are a Cricut beginner and you're looking for a really great in-depth training for your Cricut, look no further than Oak and Lamb. We have included in every tier of our membership free courses teaching you how to use your Cricut machine from start to finish and everything in between. No matter if you have a Cricut Joy, an Explorer series machine, or a Maker series machine, we have all of those free courses for you that will take you from a beginner to a pro in no time. If you are interested in that, click the link down below. You can actually get the membership for only $9.99 for your first month. Uh, using the code FUN at checkout, definitely do that, grab it, get your membership. There's amazing printable guides within those courses, as well as our other membership perks like a thousand plus digital cut files with free commercial use licensing, great member only videos, a member only podcast, and an exclusive Facebook group only to our flock. You will absolutely love it over there, especially if you're a beginner. It's incredible to allow you guys to build your confidence and become well-rounded crafters with your Cricut. We cannot wait for you to join. Click the link, join today. You will not regret it. But today, we're talking about fonts. This is gonna be a super simple, um, you're not gonna get overwhelmed in this video. It's gonna be great. So let's head over to Design Space and we'll share with you how easy it is to download a font. Okay, here we are in Design Space. Now, this is the canvas in Design Space. Of course, this is where you will do all of your file manipulation. Now, let's say we want to download a font. So where do we go to do that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and urge you never to purchase a font. You heard me. Don't purchase a font. Uh, you can find just about any font under the sun completely free. Most of them even do allow for commercial use uh, inside of there with them being free as well. My favorite place to look for fonts is dafont.com. You can see up here, D-A-F-O-N-T, F-O-N-T, dafont.com. That's my favorite. You can look through so many different types of fonts. There are some really neat ones. So let's, for instance, today, we're going to download one to be able to show you. Uh, here's one called The Rabbit. Now, on Defont, there's a lot of different websites, but on Defont, you click Download, and then you'll have a zip file that shows up. You'll be able to open that, the folder, and see all your options. You can see your fonts, and some of them will say, like, read me or whatever and you can look and, and most of the creators of these fonts will give you personal use or commercial use of these fonts which is amazing so you can go through all of the different categories which is great but again let's just say i want the rabbit because that's a really cute one just go over here click download you'll see it pop up as a little zip folder right here now for zip folders on a mac it's super easy you literally just click it and it opens up the zip folder it is that easy you see it is now unzipped. There's the zip. It's unzipped. Now I'm double clicking on that. Now you can see all of these. There's TTF, OTF, which again, that's a little bit uh, more advanced. Really, it just means that one can have some glyph fonts in it. Again, if that's not making sense to you, it's not super beginner friendly or something you have to know in the beginning. So uh, that's something for another day. And then here it says read me. So let's go ahead and open this up. It says this font is for personal use only. So this is great to be able to see that, okay, this one is not for commercial use. That is fine. That means we'll just use it for us. Now you can open this. So let's go ahead and open it. And it's gonna open up in our font book right here. It says regular install font. Let's go ahead and install this font. Now this is their font book. This is what a Mac has to keep all the fonts together, which I absolutely love it. So here's all of our fonts. This one's called the rabbit. You can see it. Let me make it bigger. You can see how cute it's got uh, some different symbols, numbers, letters. It's gorgeous. So love that. Now let me go over to design space. So here I am in design space. Let's work with our font. So let's go over to a text box. Let's go up to our font and now we can search rabbit where's rabbit we downloaded rabbit now what happened here is we have downloaded the font from a website onto our computer however we already had design space 
open as an application before we downloaded our font. So Design Space does not know we have a new font in our system. What you're going to have to do is go ahead and close the app and reopen it. Now, if you have been working and you have a design on here or something, make sure to save your project. You don't want to lose what you've already done. But I'm going to go ahead and X this out. Just close the app. Quit. Now we're going to relaunch the app. So go ahead and click it again and open up that app for us. And now we can go over to our canvas. Go to a text box, go up here, and right there is our rabbit. It's so stinking cute. I mean, oh my gosh, I love that font. It's adorable. And that is how easy it is to download a font. Now, here on the font, I just wanted to share with you, I'm looking around here, and you can see right here, over here if you can see, it'll say free for personal use, free for personal use, personal use, free for personal use personal use you can see all of that and this one says 100% free so if we download this and open this up it says read me and when you pop up that text you can see it says this product is 100% free for personal use and commercial use so you can see that on the font there are a lot of different uh, fonts that are good for personal use and commercial use now you only have to worry about this if you plan to sell any products that you make if you're giving them for to a friend or you're gifting them to a relative or something like that you can use all of these no matter what but if you choose to legally sell your projects that you're using these fonts you want to make sure that the font creator has given you the okay to use that for commercial use licensing so just remember the font is a great tool to use it's a couple clicks of a button and always remember over in Cricut Design Space if you have the application open your Cricut will not know if you've downloaded a font so you will have to close that application and relaunch it which is super easy to do so definitely have a great time downloading and using your fonts in Cricut Design Space. I hope that this gave you a lot of confidence in using your Cricut and Design Space. Again, if you guys are looking for a super in-depth Design Space overview and how to use it, how to use your machine, the differences in the vinyl and everything like that, look no further than Oak and Lamb. You will absolutely love the free courses that we have really worked hard on in our membership. So go join today, you won't regret it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and ring that bell to get notified when videos come out. It's completely free to subscribe and it takes two seconds. Thank you all so much. I can't wait to see you another day for another video.